I am so excited to be joined by the very talented Andy Grammer. What's up? How you doing? I'm well. How are you? Oh, good to see you again. Yes, again. Yes. You look so incredibly dapper right oh, now. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I feel, you know, I've never worn a white jacket before. I know. What New made, Year's, what right? What made you go, go with the white jacket? Uh, it's it's like the only time I feel like you can. Is yeah. New Year's. I was watching you perform, mm -hmm. and I love the good, good, get a little, good to yeah, be alive. Right little about little I know. Yeah, yeah, dance yeah. moves. Dance moves. Uh, speaking of which, you were on Dancing with the Stars this I year. I was on Dancing with the Stars. How was that? Experience. Oh man, it was incredible yeah. and so hard. Really? Uh, yeah, it's really funny. You know, I did it for my mom. She passed away about six years ago, mm -hmm. and she loved dance. And so when they asked me to be a part of it, I was like, Oh man, if I say no to this, wherever my mom is in heaven will be like pissed uh. off. So yes, I'll do it. And uh, I had an incredible experience. What's been the highlight of 2015 for you? This has been like probably one of the most amazing years of my life, mm -hmm. to be honest. Uh, I had to have this song, Honey, I'm Good, do, do so well, so well, like all over the country, and. And then get to play, you know, I got to go on stage and sing with Taylor Swift I at mean, like a stadium in Chicago. How do you describe that feeling? Unbelievable. Yeah, it was unreal. She turned all the wristbands yellow for Honey, Honey, I'm Good. It was, it was, this year in general has just been like pretty pinch myself. Yeah. So uh, I hope. I hope 2016 has has a lot to bring as well. Honey, I'm good. Does it ever get old hearing it on the radio? Because I feel like I hear it all the time. Um, yeah, I feel like it's approaching the status where everybody's like, okay. No. All right, <laughs> Andy Grammer. Okay with the honey, I'm good. St yeah. No, that that's pretty crazy. I've never had one like that where you literally can't go anywhere. And you're like, whoa, this is this is like truly amazing. New music. What's going on? What are you I know, on? right? Oh, Come on. I'm psyched. I just re-released the album with mm -hmm. Good To Be Alive on it and another track, Fences, and a couple remixes. And then 2016, I think it's going to be a lot of writing. Yeah. Really, I feel like very inspired to get back in is it intimidating because you've had these hits that are on the radio totally intimidating like but i do i think that album two is the hardest okay. and that's behind me that okay. one's really hard because you come out and you do if, if you get any not like notoriety on your first album then the second one's like you gotta do something different but kind of yeah. similar but like oh my god that our artists always talk about how second one's so bad so that's behind so me i feel it. i don't know maybe maybe i'll see you next year and be like album three no <laughs> But I feel good. I feel I feel like uh, I got a lot of inspiration. I coming have faith this in one. you. Thank you. If you had to step outside of your comfort zone in 2016, like, is there anything you want to accomplish or do that's kind of you know like you did Dancing with the Stars in totally. 2015? What's something else you might want to do? Oh man, I don't know. Maybe a little acting if that came around. Okay, that'd be really fun. Really? You know, I, I did a little bit of acting in college, and maybe that, I mean you know. You got any idea? You got a hookup? Um, I think you should be James Bond. James Bond. I'm the next I'm just James saying. Bond. I have a lot of working out to do, like <laughs> a lot. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe. Any New Year's resolutions right now? I want to get into meditation a little bit more. That's my thing. Okay. For 2016 is like learn how to calm the mind a little bit. Do you do it's the been yoga? Been a crazy year. Are you yoga? I, I Yogi? Know, I'm not very like I have really tight hammies. <laughs> it's been a problem. Yeah. Moving forward into this next year, what are you most looking forward to? Yeah, I think writing. I really want to write more music. Okay. This has been a really incredible year. I've kind of like, like from, from my perspective, it's kind of like a, it's like you go and make all this music and then you go out and share it. Absolutely. And once you've shared it like as much as I have this year in all these different facets, now it's like, it's time to go back and, and make some more. So I'm really excited to go back into the studio and, and make some stuff. We're going to end the interview okay. with um, you saying what 2015, one word that sums it up and then one word that's going to sum up 2016. One word that sums up 2015 is dream. Okay. And 2016 is a... Uh, Dreamier. Ooh, How about that? I like that. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see. Celebrate with us live Thursday, December 31st at 8 p.m. on ABC.